Welcome to Black Bag Technologies How To Instructional Video for Using Mobilize, Black Bag's mobile device collection and review tool. In this video, we will demonstrate using Mobilize to gather data from iOS and Android devices, viewing the data as it's being collected. An iOS device will be connected. Information has already been gathered from an Android device. Mobilize can run on either a Windows computer with a Windows 7 or newer operating system or a Macintosh computer with a 10.7 or newer operating system. The install package for each has all the files necessary to provide a complete installation for capturing and viewing files. When Mobilize first starts, the Case Manager window appears. Included in the window are all previous cases for which data remains in the selected destination folder. When a previously collected case is highlighted, the information about the device involved in that specific case is revealed. As we attach an iOS device to collect data from, the phone must be unlocked. Also, the Trust button on the phone must be selected to allow the computer to communicate with the phone. For iOS devices, a pairing certificate can be used in place of entering the PIN code. The attached device appears in green at the top of the case area. It is identified as New Case and has the name that was detected for the device. With preferences already selected as to where the case data will be saved, we are ready to start. When we want a full collection, we select the Full Collection button. For those instances where the time available for copying the data is limited, and when a compatible operating system is present, we can reorder the data we want copied first, and even deselect items that are not of interest to us. To do so, we select the Limited Collection button. Within seconds, the information available on the phone is shown. Items that are green in color are those items that are automatically parsed by Mobilize and included in the appropriate area within the tool. An example of this is Kick Messenger, where its text messages are included in the Communications Messages area. Items in black are the additional third-party applications installed on the device. In our case, we want the Foursquare application to be copied just after Skype data. To make this happen, we highlight Foursquare, then drag and drop it to the correct location. We are not interested in Realtor.com or BuzzFeed, so we deselect these applications. To begin the collection, click Collect. The device view appears providing additional device information. When the importing of data to the case has finished, a window indicating Mobilize Import Complete is shown. A window will also appear advising that it is safe to disconnect the mobile device. After the importing of data completes, picture processing will continue as Mobilize parses thumbnails for additional picture processing. Even if a device is disconnected while Mobilize is copying data, Mobilize will detect that action and continue processing the data it has collected, making it available for the user's viewing. As data is collected, numbers under Communications, Media, Location, Applications, and Internet appear. As soon as numbers begin to appear, data can be reviewed. Remember, while data is being collected, the amount of data that can be viewed is changing. The Device View window also has other functions. Seen in the upper left are five static date settings by which we can filter data to be viewed. This filter changes what is revealed to us, not what is being collected. By default, we are shown everything so that all data can be viewed. As we select the last month area, only items with a date within 30 days prior to the collection will be revealed. The numbers under the filtered column change to reflect the number of items that match this filter. We click back on everything as we want to view all available data. We can either view data as it is being collected or wait until the data has been fully collected and processed. We are interested in quickly determining with whom our phone owner has been communicating, so we will begin looking at data now. We can either click on Messages next to the numbers shown for the messages totals or at the top of the window by clicking on the COM Messages icons. We are taken to the conversation view of messages, which shows all messages available at the moment. We see the list of communicators by clicking on the All box located above the messages. We can also read the information in the list view. 
As we expand the size of the window, more data about the messages is revealed. Using the Find function allows us to quickly see what we are looking for. In our case, Josh Bennett is a person of interest, so we look for the name Josh. The items that match our entry are highlighted in yellow. The Find function works in areas of Mobilize where text fields are present. Now we will use the Filter function, located in the upper left of the window, to show us only the messages of interest. As we enter the number 2014, we see only the messages with dates or content that contain that number. The filter can be used for any number or alphabetical term of interest and functions in all of the text fields seen. We can see that message attachments are also present. While an attachment is shown in File View by clicking on the line that contains the word attachment, Conversation View reveals the picture in line with the message. We clear the filter before moving on to the contacts. In the Contacts tab, we again want to find any reference to Josh. This time we use the filter first. By entering the name Josh, we are immediately shown only those contacts with the name, organization, or service that contain the term Josh. We see several lines from various sources of information, iOS, Kick, TextFree, and Facebook. We browse through the data within each contact. One of the items contains an avatar used to identify Josh. Because these are of interest to us, we choose to select all, then tag the contact information. Tagging is accomplished by selecting Action Tag Selected Rows or using the keyboard shortcut of Command T on the Mac or Control T for Windows. All information associated with each contact, including the avatar, will be included in the final report. We are also interested in another person, Huck Quinn. We filter for his information and likewise tag his contact information. Next, we go to voicemail and voice memos. These files can be heard from within the Mobilize application. Simply click on any item of interest, then click on the play button to listen. As data collection has continued while we were browsing, we click back to the Device Details tab. We see that the numbers of viewable files have increased in several of the categories. Additionally, we are provided with the top 10 contacts from the device and account information for automatically parsed third-party applications. The top 10 contacts are based on the number of messages and calls associated with each name or phone number. Seeing that phone call information is now available, we click on Calls. All calls are of interest to us. We want to tag the information and also export it for use by other investigators. We select All and tag the data first. Then we right-click and choose the Export Selected Rows as CSV. We give the file a name, Bobby R underscore callhistory.csv, and choose where to write the file. Once the file is saved, it can be shared with others. We are also interested in Bobby's pictures and video files, as they may contain location information to help us in tracking his movements. We click on the Media tab and begin viewing the pictures. Pictures can be sorted by created date, modified date, or media size. It is also possible to limit the scope of pictures being viewed to a narrower set of data on the phone, based on its source. Pictures in Media View can be resized for optimal viewing on the user's available hardware. Pictures that have the red place mark icon contain GPS information. File dates, resolution, and path information are seen in the File Information pane. If the picture has GPS data, the latitude and longitude are shown in the File Information pane also. When desired, the user can select View Map from this area. The default web browser will open and connect to Google Maps showing the location of the picture. Likewise, video thumbnails can be seen and the movies can even be played within the application. Video size can be increased by changing the size of the Mobilize window. The scrub bar can also be used to quickly look through the video of interest. We focus on the 0049 movie, 
showing the inside of a car while driving. We can see the outside of the car, but cannot determine where the video was taken. Notice the date in the file information pane of March 19, 2014 at 18.18 18 hours. Switching to the Locations Geotags tab, we see all collected data that contains GPS information. Present here are pictures, videos, Facebook, and Foursquare. We sort on the date column, finding March 19, 2014. The video we are looking for, 0049, does not exist, but image underscore 0048 is present and has a timestamp of only two minutes prior to the video. Highlighting the item reveals the picture, apparently the same car interior. When connected to the internet, a map showing the GPS location is provided. By scrolling out on the map, we see the location is just outside Dulles International Airport in the United States. If there is a known latitude or longitude of interest, the column header can be selected and a sort implemented. GPS information can also be very useful to connect activities of co-conspirators, so we will highlight all of the GPS data and export it as a CSV file. The Apps tab shows all third-party applications installed on the device that could be collected by Mobilize. General information about the applications is shown in the window on the right. Since available files for each app bundle are copied, an in-depth analysis of the files can be performed when the case is placed into Blacklight. The Internet tab reveals the bookmarks, history, and open pages of Safari for iOS devices. Web information from Android devices will vary depending on each device's default browser and the method the browser uses to talk with the operating system. Seen here are the last Safari browser pages that were visited by the user where the user left the browser tabs open. iOS devices often perform a screen capture of the web page, enabling Mobilize to show what the screen looked like when it was last visited. When the investigator is ready to complete a report, click the Report tab in the upper right of the Mobilize window. The report information is completed here, listing the report name or number, analyst name and title, subject name, and when appropriate, a case summary. By placing the report name or number in this window, the case is actually being given a name and will appear that way within Mobilize's Case Manager window. When items have already been tagged, they will appear in the bottom window and the radio button entitled Report on Tagged Items is checked. The analyst can elect to generate a report now, select more tags, or even tag all items by simply selecting the Report on All Items radio button. Tagging files causes the files of interest to be listed in the report. Tagged pictures, videos, and audio files are exported for use within the report. We click the Generate Report button, then select either HTML or HTML and PDF for the output report. By default, the Reports folder on a Windows computer is saved to the Documents folder. On a Mac, it is saved on the user's desktop. When a PDF report is generated, it is saved inside this same folder. We have chosen to generate an HTML report. When the report export has completed, an informational box lets us know. The default web browser on the user's computer opens the report. We see the report menu in the upper right of the web page. By using this menu, we can navigate to other areas. Each data type is kept within its own section, just as the mobilized tabs contain grouped information. The report information we just provided, such as the case number and subject name, are contained in the overview. The Device Details section provides the information we saw in the Device view of Mobilize. Of particular interest is the Photo Gallery under the Media tab. All of the pictures that have been tagged are shown. When needed, a picture can be enlarged by clicking on it. Also shown is the name of the file, its file system dates and path, and the GPS information if it exists. Alternatively, pictures can be viewed with all of their detail information under the Picture Detail tab. Tagged videos show a thumbnail of their first frame and can be played by clicking on them. There is another important feature of Mobilize. 
An analyst can detach a phone while data is being collected without affecting the data already obtained. Parsing of that data will continue after the device is removed, making the data available for viewing. The archive output from Mobileyes will also be able to be imported into Blacklight, Blackbag's forensic tool. There are more features in Mobileyes than those that have been discussed in this video. Please take advantage of our online and on-site training for Mobileyes for more extensive information. Thank you for watching this video demonstration of Mobileyes, Blackbag Technologies mobile device acquisition and viewing tool. Should you have any further questions on any of Black Bag Technologies tools, please don't hesitate to contact a member of the Black Bag team for assistance.